Friday, everybody. Today is National Cook for Your Pet Day. So we decided that it's November 1st, Halloween's over, Thanksgiving is coming up. Um, you know, your pets need to be like included into the holiday festivities. So we've decided that we're gonna make an easy, no-bake dog treat that you can make at home with just a few simple ingredients. So it's super easy. What you're gonna need is um, a half a cup of peanut butter, you need one cup of pumpkin, a teaspoon of cinnamon, three tablespoons of honey, and two and a half cups of oats. So I've got all of that already in here. So Lori, if you can come forward just a little bit to show everybody all the ingredients. So you got your pumpkin right here. You got your your three, your one teaspoon of cinnamon, your three tablespoons of honey, your half cup of peanut butter, and your two and a half cups of oats. Now, one of the things that I did, like a, a cool little trick, because as you're putting all this stuff up, it's gonna be kind of hard to get the cinnamon, I mean, the, the pumpkin and the peanut butter and the honey out of the containers. So I like, I find if you spray it with a little bit the cooking spray it slides right out so let's get started to cooking it's super easy the first thing you got to do is in a big mixing bowl combine the cinnamon <laughs> oops and also combine the honey get all that out and you know feel free to use some local honey if you're you know like some some locally based honey that's always good um, also we're gonna add the peanut butter peanut butter out of there. Um, use your favorite kind, but um, don't do chunky peanut butter. Stick with the smooth peanut butter. I think that your, your pet, your dog will really appreciate that. And next we're gonna add all of the pumpkin in there too. Get that pumpkin. Now it's super easy to do. The first thing you gotta do, first step, once you get all of this in the bowl, is just mix it up really good. You wanna make sure that you get the pumpkin, the cinnamon, the honey, and the peanut butter all incorporated. So we'll give it a good, good fast mix. And it's gonna take you a few seconds to do that just because the peanut butter um, takes a little bit to get incorporated. Keep mixing and get it all good, good and mixed up. And once you have that, the next step is to add the oats. So we're gonna dump the oats in there. And we're gonna start mix. <laughs> Try not to make a mess. But once you mix all the oats up in there, it's gonna start thickening up a little bit. And that's exactly what you want because what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna roll these, uh, all of this into a ball and make a little ball treat, little peanut butter pumpkin balls. So, I don't think I'm making a mess here. It's cause I'm probably, I'm not in a kitchen. Like I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a conference room. So you wanna do this in your kitchen where it's okay to make a mess cause it'll be easy for you to clean up. All right, so we're just going to assume that all of this is mixed up and incorporated like we want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a baking sheet, just like this, and then you're gonna get some parchment paper, and you're gonna lay the parchment paper on the baking sheet because that's where we're gonna put the peanut butter balls. So this is where you're, you're gonna get a little messy. So get ready because you're gonna wanna wash your hands after this because you're going to take some of the mixture in here. Now, depending on the size of your dog, that's gonna, that's gonna determine the size of the ball that you're gonna roll. Because if it's a small dog, you don't want really big peanut butter pumpkin balls because it'll be hard for them to eat. But if you have a really big dog, you're gonna want like a little nice size. So what I would suggest is start with like around, almost a golf size, golf ball size. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna roll it in there just like this. And then you're gonna place it on your baking sheet. I'm gonna do a couple of more, just to kind of get you, I'll do a couple of different sizes, just so you can see. So the number of balls that you're gonna get, of course, is gonna be determined by the size of the balls that you roll. Um, the smaller the balls, the more you're gonna get, the bigger the balls, the less you're gonna get. So, so you get, in fact, that's a good size for a small dog, right? So you can see that you can probably get anywhere between like, I'd say between like 15 and 30 good size balls, depending on how big you roll them. So once you have them all on your baking sheet, you're gonna refrigerate them uh, just to let the balls harden for a little bit. I did, a, I did a batch earlier this morning and I left them in the refrigerator for about an hour and I'm about to show you what, what they all look like. Now once they're hardened, you can store them in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to three weeks or you can put them in the freezer for up to three months. So here is, here are the balls that I made this morning. You can see 
They're, they're nice, they're, they're really firm. They, they hold together because of the peanut butter and the pumpkin and the honey helps keep it all together. Now, since this is all natural ingredients, like there's no like, this wasn't made in a dog food factory or anything like that. I mean, literally it has peanut butter, pumpkin, cinnamon, honey, and oats. I mean, you might as well try it. Cause it's only good, like your dog's gonna eat it. So if it's good enough for your dog, it should be good enough for you. Or actually the other way around. If it's good enough for you, it should be good enough for your dog. So, I mean, let's try it. Well, I mean, it's Friday, November 1st. You have no plans tonight. You decide to Netflix and chill. Get your dog up on your lap. And you have to share some peanut butter pumpkin balls. The recipe is down below. I've also put the ingredients throughout the video. Comment below, let us know if you made it. Take pictures of you and your dog enjoying these little treats. It's great for the holidays are coming up. Include your dog into all these festivities. And happy National Cook for Your Pets Day from Conway Federal Credit Union. Zumi, do you want a peanut butter pumpkin ball? Sit. Oh, it looks like your brother wants one too. Okay, we're gonna give him one, but we're gonna break his in half. Zuko. Zuko. Sit. Sit. Oh, oh, I guess Zumi liked it. She wants another one. Oh, I don't think these are hit at all. Oops. What'd you think? Was it good?